Welcome to another instructional snippet. In this snippet, we will be working a net positive suction head example where we find a maximum elevation a pump will just meet the provided net positive suction head required. To get the most out of this example, you should have a familiarity with the following equations. Net positive suction head, conservation of energy, the equation to calculate head loss, and how to calculate the pressure head. Listed is the data required for this example, including major and minor losses for the pump suction piping, net positive suction head required, the density, and the vapor pressure. Now let's do some preliminary calculations. We are going to need the velocity in the suction piping to calculate the head loss, we'll need the vapor pressure head, and we'll also need the atmospheric pressure head. These calculations are shown here. Since we have the velocity, Let's go ahead and calculate the head loss in the pump suction piping. Before we go any further, let's talk about setting up this problem. I find it always best to specify the datum at the pump elevation. Then I don't have to worry about the difference between total pressure and stagnation pressure. We know that we need the absolute total pressure at point 2. Conservation of energy tells us that the total pressure at 2 is equal to the total pressure at 1 minus the head loss between the two points. What do we know about point one? We know the absolute pressure, the velocity, which is zero, and since the datum is selected at the pump, the elevation at point one is minus Z, which is the unknown. First, let's find the absolute total pressure head at one. Substituting in known values, we get that the absolute total head at one is equal to the atmospheric pressure head minus the unknown elevation, Z. Now let's use conservation of energy to solve for the absolute pressure head at point two, the pump suction. Next, we will set net positive suction head available equal to the provided net positive suction head required. If you saw my other instructional snippet, you will know that this is likely a terrible design. However, it is typical of academic problems. Now we have everything we need to solve for the unknown elevation, Z. The details are provided here. The maximum distance between the suction of this pump and the water surface is 7.65 feet. I hope you found this instructional snippet helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.